Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Today we are going to be filming a video which has been quite highly requested, at least for my channel, and that is gonna be an unboxing of the Body Shop's Ultimate Advent Calendar, which you can see behind me here. So if you missed my last video, I did an unboxing of their mid-range advent calendar, and I had quite a few requests to unbox the big one as well, because as you can see, I have that one as well. So today we are going to go through what is behind each door of this advent calendar, have a look at the Sort of products that you're receiving and is it really worth the money and especially how does it compare to the mid-range calendar which is about £60 cheaper so quite a big price jump so we're going to crack straight on and get into this advent calendar unboxing. So this calendar actually retails for £130 but has I believe a product value of about £250 so Although this is a very expensive calendar, at least in terms of the amount of money I have to spend on advent calendars, you are getting a lot for your money and yeah, hopefully we're going to find some really good products in here because one of the issues, a bit of a spoiler if you've not seen my last video, is with the mid-range calendar I felt that a few of the gifts that were behind the doors were sort of filler gifts and weren't particularly exciting to receive so I'm hoping because this is their ultimate calendar and it in theory has all of the really high end and really nice products we're going to see some brilliant products so let's open it up and get straight into it. So as you can hopefully see now that I've opened it up we have got 25 boxes to unbox so it's not like a typical calendar where you have those little doors that you sort of peel open they are actual boxes that you can then rebox which I think is a great way to be able to reuse the calendar if you wanted to but we have 25 gifts behind these doors so let's crack on and see what is behind door number one. So inside box number one we have received a vitamin E moisture cream and this is the 50ml size which is sort of the standard one. They do do these in the bigger 100ml pots as well um, but yeah this is just the normal moisture cream. They have a few variations of this um, and I have used it before and I do really get on with it. Um, so I think this is a good start because this vitamin E range works on all skin types so you know there's no worries particularly unless you have super sensitive skin that you're not really going to get on with this product and especially because it's winter I think starting out with a moisture cream is a great idea because maybe it's just me but my skin gets so dry in winter so I think this is a great start to the calendar especially because I'm not sure the exact price but this is not a cheap product it is sort of mid-range in terms of their pricing so it's a really good way to start the calendar and I think it's definitely not a disappointment which is good. On to box number two this is quite a big one so whenever I see a big box I'm always excited because Nine times out of 10, that means you've got a good product inside. And inside this one, we've got a full-sized mango shower gel, which is 250 ml. So again, a really good start here because as I say, with the previous calendar, sorry that I do keep comparing them, but with the previous calendar, I don't think, we might have had one full-size shower gel, but we mostly just got mini ones, which are nice every now and then to go on holiday and stuff, but they're not gonna last you very long in everyday life. So a full-size shower gel is great. I love the mango scent, so I think, again, this is a really good one to include. It's a very popular scent as well. So again, we're going really well so far. I know we're only on day two, but so far this is going surprisingly well and I would be very happy with both products that we've seen so far. Inside box number three, we have received a mango lip butter. So these lip butters are very nice, don't get me wrong. Um, I believe they're about three pounds, three pounds fifty. So one of the first sort of lower end items we've seen, but I think because you are getting quite a few really expensive items, you kind of have to expect a few slightly cheaper ones to sort of balance out the cost of the calendar. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't complain about getting a lip butter. And I think, again, most people would use one, so not an offensive gift in that way. So inside day number four, we've got a hand cream. This is a standard 30ml sized hand cream in the scent pink, I can't speak, in the scent pink grapefruit. This, again, is a really nice scent. It's really refreshing and it's a hand cream. Again, there's not much to say about a hand cream, but again, I think... Considering, generally speaking, most people will be opening this in December, in a colder month, hand cream is always an essential that you need, and I really rate the Body Shop ones because they sink into your skin really fast, so you're not walking around with really sticky hands, so hand cream is good, and that's all I really have to say about it. Inside day number five, we've got a little bit of hair care. We have received the banana shampoo, just the standard 250ml size. Um, this stuff is absolutely brilliant if you have really dry hair. Um, the ends of my hair, my hair's a bit strange, I get really greasy roots but my ends are really dry and using the banana range like for my lower ends of my hair seems to work really well so I think again 
great to see another Forsyth product in here and I think it's good to have a mix because we have had mostly body care so far. It's nice to see a mix of hair care and things like that as well. Hopefully we see a bit of makeup too because I believe in the last calendar there was only one, maybe two bits of makeup. Um, so I'm hoping there's a bit more makeup to come as well. But yeah, day number five, we've got a banana shampoo. Inside day number six, we have a sheet mask. Again, this is vitamin E, so one that can suit pretty much all skin types. These sheet masks, again, really nice and really quick. You only have to keep them on for about 15 minutes. So if you haven't got the time to faff about with a really messy like application, you can just chuck this on, take it off and you're done. And these ones as well are biodegradable, which is great. So a good addition to the calendar. Again, well, I think we're on day six, are we? I'm kind of losing track, but so far, touch wood even though I don't have any it is going very well so for day number seven we have received a face mask brush I am aware you can't really see it because it's in plastic packaging but I'm not planning on keeping this I'm planning on giving it to a friend so I don't want to be totally unboxing everything and I'm not a genius but considering we've received a face mask brush I am assuming we are going to receive a pot of one of their expert face masks at some point in this calendar otherwise it's a bit of a strange addition to the gift set but yeah, it's nice to see a few accessories making their way in as well. And let's see if we get a face mask to go with this brush. So as predicted, to go with that brush we just received, in day number eight, we have received an expert face mask. And this is in the Himalayan charcoal one. So this one is absolutely brilliant. If you suffer with oily skin or a lot of breakouts, this is so good at just drawing it all out of your skin. I use this one a lot because even though my skin is relatively dry, I get combination skin and quite a few breakouts. And this works really well for me. Um, and yeah, I think it is one of their most popular expert face masks. So it makes sense that that's the one they've chosen to include. And this is the full size 75 mil pot. And these are relatively pricey. I think they're around the 18 pounds mark. So to get a full one of these and then a brush to go with it, I think is a really nice way of incorporating things in the calendar that can be used together. And yeah, I think this is a great addition to the calendar and I'm very pleased to see it making an appearance. Moving on to day number nine, we've received a banana conditioner. So again, it makes sense because we previously received that shampoo. It would be a bit strange to only receive half of a hair care set. So we've now got the conditioner to go with the shampoo. Again, this is the full size 250 ml one and there's not all that much I could say about a shampoo and conditioner set, but again, it's nice to see a full size range in here and one that I think most people would enjoy. I personally don't even like the smell of bananas, but this one doesn't smell that bad. I've kind of got used to the smell the more I've used it. So if you don't like banana like me, it actually isn't that banana-y that you might hate it, if that makes sense. Moving on to day number 10, we have received our first bit of makeup and it is their Happy Go Lash Mascara. This is something I have not actually tried. I've used a couple of their other mascaras, which I really enjoy, but this is one I haven't personally used, but I know a lot of people really like because from what I've heard, it's quite subtle and it's not too like in your face mascara. It's quite a natural everyday one. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad that we have seen a bit of makeup making its appearance. Hopefully there are one or two more bits because I know not everyone wears makeup, so you don't want to include loads if it's not specifically a makeup calendar. But the Body Shop has a huge range of makeup, so I think it would make sense to have a little bit of it included in the calendar because I rate their makeup, so I feel like they should have more of it in their calendars. So yeah, day 10, we received a mascara. So for day number 11, we have received a mini expert face mask. These are relatively new, the mini size pots. They came out this year and they're around the six or seven pound mark. And I think they're a great way to try out the mask before committing to a big one, because as I said, the full size ones, although they're definitely worth the money in terms of the amount of product, are quite expensive. So these little mini ones are a great way to try them out before you commit to a full size pot. And this is 15 ml of product and this is in the coffee scent. I absolutely love this one. It smells so nice, nicer than real coffee because it's super sweet as well. And I would say you can get two or three applications out of this for a full face. So again, a nice one to include so that you can have a little taster of some of the other products that the Body Shop have. So for day 12, we have received the Vitamin C Energizing Face Mist. And this is a product I've not personally used before, but I have used a few things from the Vitamin C range before because they're targeted towards people who suffer from quite dull and tired skin which is definitely something I have even though I'm not even that old um, so I do use things like their liquid peel quite often so not something I've tried but I think again this is something that will appeal to most people or at least you'll try it out and the vitamin C range I love the smell of because it's really orangey and fresh and yeah nice to see a product because I would consider myself quite well versed in the body shop so it's nice to see a product that I've not tried before because it shows they're not just going for the really classic best-selling products. They have got a few other ones in there as well. So yeah, 
Day number 12, energizing face mint. So for day number 13, our halfway point in the calendar, we have got another shower gel, and this one is the pink grapefruit one. Again, a full size 250 ml, so a good generous size. I find these ones last me quite a while, well over a month, so definitely like a good product that you'll get your money's worth out of. And again, pink grapefruit is a very popular scent and it's really nice and refreshing. I said this with the last one as well, and it's the same with this one. They do seem to stick in terms of things like shower gel and stuff like that with their kind of go-to classic, very popular scents, such as British Rose, Pink Grapefruit, Mango, and things like that, which I do get because they're best sellers for a reason, but I also think throwing in a couple which maybe aren't really popular scents could be a nice way of introducing people to them because I feel like these, as I say, are very well known, so maybe it would be nice to see a few scents which people haven't tried before, but all in all, another shower gel is not a bad thing. So day number 14, we have received another bit of makeup and this is the Matte Lip Liquid in Nairobi Camellia. So this shade, which is shade 34, is quite like a nice nude muted pink colour. I can't remember, so I could be wrong, but I feel like we got this in the last calendar as well. But again, I could be wrong. I could just be getting confused. But yeah, again, this is a very popular and nice well-rounded shade. It would suit most skin tones and most people. So I think again, this is a really nice addition, especially for people who maybe haven't tried the Body Shop makeup before. This is a nice kind of safe shade to try out. It's not too bold that it's gonna scare you, but it still looks really nice on the lips. So yeah, I'm glad to see that we've got another bit of makeup making an appearance. So for day number 15, we have one of the bath blends. Again, this is a new product that was only released this year. I have used the Mango one and I absolutely love it. It basically looks a bit like a smoothie, but you tip it into your bath under running water and it makes it really bubbly and also makes the bath smell amazing. And this one is in the berry scent. This is one I haven't actually used, so I might just give it a little sniff test on camera. Oh, that is so nice. This, even though I really love the mango one, this actually smells like a real smoothie. It's just really nice and fruity and it really does smell good enough to drink. I'm not advising you to do that, but this smells so nice. And yeah, so it's a 250ml bottle and we've not really had any sort of bath or like pampering products i know face masks are but yeah i think it's good that again we've got a few different products in here that are also new to the body shop that some people may not have seen so excited to see a bath blend making an appearance and if you've not got one i definitely recommend this berry one because it smells absolutely amazing so in day number 16 we have got the starry headband this is one of their limited edition christmas products and it looks like this it's super cute and I think this is mainly uh, included for the idea that when you're putting on your face mask, it'll keep like your hair out of your face and stuff like that. I am not going to try it on because I do not suit anything on my head, but you can get a good idea of what this would look like on your head. And I think it's nice, especially because this is a limited edition product, to have something included that is quite exclusive that you can't just walk into the shop at any time and buy. Because I actually think these have fully sold out for the year. They were really popular. So it's nice to see this included and I think it's really cute. So a nice little addition to the calendar because even though this is not specifically like a product that you use, it's a useful filler product. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's a good filler product. So moving on to day number 17, we have got the Vitamin E Gentle Facial Wash. This is a very big, generous sized product. It is 125 ml. And again, this is one I have used myself before and you really don't need a lot of this on a daily use. So this will last you absolutely ages. And again, because it is vitamin E, unless obviously there's a few ingredients in there that your skin doesn't agree with, this will work with most skin types. So it's good, it's a nice gentle cleanser. You're not really aggravating your skin. So a nice addition to the calendar. And yeah, I'm running out of words to describe these products. In day number 18, we have another lip butter. This time it's in strawberry. Again, a relatively useful product. Would I find myself reaching for this? Probably not, but it's not the worst product to receive in the world. And yeah, strawberry's a nice scent, so it's not the worst, but it's also not the most exciting thing that has been in this calendar. So number 19 is this massive box. It's the biggest one that is in the whole calendar. So I am expecting something amazing to be inside here but that's just because I associate big boxes with better things, even though that's not true. 
So let's see if my prediction that this is going to be something absolutely amazing is right. So in day number 19, we have got one of the big full size body butters. These are 200 ml and again, last absolutely ages. I have had a few, well, I have a few on the go at the same time, depending on what scent I want, but they last months and months and months. So again, a really nice product to see in here. And the scent that they've put in is the almond milk and honey one, which I really like. It's really nice and sweet, but not too overly fragrant. So if you don't like a really in your face scent, this one's quite nice because it still has a little smell to it, but it's not too much. Um, and yeah, these body butters, again, not sure of the exact price, are almost at the £20 mark, I think. So again, a nice, relatively expensive product to receive, especially as a full size one as well. I think this is a really good gift to be included within the calendar. In day number 20, we have got the Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I think, again, this was one we had in the last calendar, which I think is a relatively useful gift. As I say, we have received makeup, so it makes sense to have it, obviously, to remove the mascara that you will, in theory, be putting on. Obviously, not everyone uses makeup, but I think it is a useful thing to include, as I say, to remove that mascara, which they have included. And the Chamomile Makeup Remover range is really good, really gentle, but does a really good job at getting makeup off. So, again, another good contribution, I think. This is 250ml as well, so you know will last you ages. And that's all I really have to say about an eye makeup remover. I've been sat here so long unboxing things, I do think I'm going a bit loopy, so if I get a bit strange towards the end of the video, that is why. I've been sat with this massive light in front of me for what feels like absolutely ages, so bear with me, we are almost at the end. Day number 21, we have got a vitamin C glow sheet mask. Again, same style as the vitamin E one, but vitamin C, which as I said before, is for like dull and tired skin. So again, a nice welcome product to include I think it's a good way to see if a certain range of skincare works for you or not and these sheet masks are really nice really simple to use and I think anyone would get on with them so all in all we're doing really well as I say this is day 21 we only have four boxes left and I'd say so far there hasn't really been any products that I've really been disappointed in or felt like they were just sort of filling a space in the calendar. So, so far it is seeming really positive and whether it's worth the money we will discuss at the very end, I think, but so far it's going very well. So in day number 22, we've got the Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Clay Wash. This is 125 ml and as you can see, a good size. It's the same size as that vitamin E cleanser we received. And I think it's good that they have included two different types of cleansers because Vitamin E is more gentle, you know, nice appeals to everyone. Whereas if you do have oily or problem prone skin, this one is probably gonna work a little bit better for you. So I think it's nice to have two in there to sort of cover all bases. Um, this is one I've not actually used myself, but I know a lot of people really enjoy it. Day number 23, we have got the Almond Hand and Nail Manicure Cream. So this is 100 ml. Uh, the hand cream we had before was 30 ml, so a bit more handbag size. Whereas as you can hopefully see, this is quite a big, product i've again not used this one myself but i've heard really good results from the almond range for like growing your nails and helping them be less brittle so i would be very curious to know if any of you have ever used this have you noticed it's improved your nails as well because this is marketed as not just a hand cream but also like a nail manicure cream so i think again a nice thing to include especially at this time of year as i say with everyone's hands and everywhere being really dry hopefully this will help a few brittle nails like mine survive the winter. Day number 24, we have got the British Rose Body Yogurt. As I said before about really popular scents, I had a feeling British Rose would pop up at some point and we've got it in a body yogurt form. Body yogurts are great because unlike body butters, which are really moisturising but can take a while to sink in, these sort of have a gel-like formula so they moisturise your skin but also sink in really quickly. If like me, you're really impatient and you just want to chuck your clothes on straight after moisturising, I find these really useful. And again, British Rose is is a scent that is very popular with lots of people so it makes sense to include that one and yeah body yogurts are great so a good inclusion and let's see what is behind this final door of the calendar okay so final gift inside this calendar is definitely ending on a high we have got the drops of youth concentrate looks like this this is the 30 ml size which is about 25 pounds not exactly that but somewhere around that mark and this stuff is absolutely brilliant i've used it myself especially in winter this stuff does wonders for my skin and the drops of youth range is designed to sort of fight the first signs of aging but i find even if you just have very dry skin this stuff is definitely worth trying out and including in your routine and as i say this stuff is not cheap 
at least not in my books, it's not cheap. Um, it's very worth the money but it is quite expensive. So to see this included in the calendar I think is really good. And like how we started the calendar with quite a good product, it's nice to end with an expensive one I think because, you know, you're going to be opening this in theory on Christmas morning. So it's nice to have something quite impressive to open if that makes sense. So I'm really glad that we've seen one of the slightly more premium products making an appearance in this calendar and I think it's a great way to finish off the calendar. So now that we have seen everything that was included in the calendar we can talk about whether I think it's worth the money and worth buying. So as I've said this calendar retails for £130 so it is not the cheapest beauty calendar out there however from what I have seen today I would definitely say that it is worth the money. Every product that has been included I have thought even if it's not something I would personally use is a very good product to include and it's very useful. There weren't really any classic filler products that were just sort of there to take up space within the calendar. Every door had something useful or something nice behind it so I would say for that reason it was worth paying a bit more just to make sure that you knew every day you're going to be getting a good product behind the door. So surprisingly I do think that this very expensive calendar is worth the money especially if you absolutely love the Body Shop products or maybe you don't love the Body Shop, you don't really know much about them and want to try them out. It's a great way of trying out a lot of their best selling products and also products which maybe you wouldn't typically pick. So I'm actually very impressed by this calendar and if you can get your hands on it and want to pay that money for it, I would definitely say go for it. I know they have been flying out of stock really quick but the last few weeks they have been restocking them so you might be able to get lucky and get your hands on it if you're quick and yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. If there are any other advent calendars out there you would like me to unbox and have a little look at, do let me know down below because I absolutely love doing it. Although I probably cannot be spending like £130 on a calendar. So if you have any cheaper ones you want me to try, let me know because that would be great. And I will see you all very soon with another video. I am now going to go somewhere very far away from this very bright light. So I will see you all very soon.